Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, I actually want to do something a little different. Now, I actually noticed that a lot of people I know don't really know how to like set up their own VPN or how to hide their IP address. So that's what I'm going to be teaching in today's video, exactly how you can hide your IP address for free. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to just go open up your browser. And I actually found this free VPN. It is called Proton VPN. VPN.com and just go to slash free dash VPN. That's the first thing in the description. And uh, we're just going to install it for Windows. Left click right there. And we're going to download Proton VPN. Save it. And so I'm just going to open that up. And we'll give it a moment. Say yes. Say okay. And um, by the way, you can install for any operating system you have Chromebook, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, iPhone, uh, or Android. So, right over here, I'm just going to go ahead and click next. Next, I'm just going to follow through everything. And I'm going to get back to you when it's done installed. So, it's now done installing uh, Proton VPN. So, you just log on the screen right here. Now, personally, I actually use Norton VPN. Uh, I do recommend it, but if you want, uh, that. Uh, uh, comes with a subscription to the Norton antivirus. So if you don't need an antivirus, you just want a VPN, I'd recommend Norton VPN. It's actually uh, very good. By the way, none of these companies are sponsored in this video. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do something to create account. Now, before I go ahead and create the account right here, I actually just wanted to talk a little bit about what a VPN is. So a VPN, or a virtual private network, is a technology that allows you to create a secure and private connection over a public network, such as the internet. Uh, basically provides a way to protect your online privacy, encrypt your internet traffic, and enable you to access resources or websites that may be restricted in your location. Um, and I just want to say, basically, it will change your IP address so people would not be able to identify you, uh, like, with like your location or anything like that. Um, and what it's doing is it's basically put, uh, accessing the internet through a server. So you're accessing a server and then you're accessing the internet through there. And the server can be in any country. Uh, so yeah, that's an important thing to know. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick simplified explanation on how VPN works. So encryption, when you connect to a VPN, the data transmitted between your device uh, and the VPN server is encrypted. Encryption is a process of encoding data in a way that can only be decoded by authorized recipients. Uh, this ensures that your online activities are hidden from prying eyes, such as hackers or government surveillance. Um, there's other stuff like tunneling, VPN servers, IP address and location, and access and security. Uh, but I'm not going to go into everything in detail because that's not quite essential for this video. So now I'm just going to go ahead and create my account. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in all this information. So I just, yeah, fill in all your information. Make sure you have a secure password. Uh, it only allows up to one device for free. So I'm going to click create account. All right. And so now over here. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go ahead and get my security code for my email. So I'm going to go ahead and get it now. Alrighty, so I got my verification code. I'm just going to verify it. Now right up here, just give me some information. So it's free one. Only one VPN connection. Uh, you only have access to 193 servers in three countries. So you don't have such a wide range. Um, there's it's medium VPN speed. Um, so it's not as efficient as this, which allows, you know, all of these things like uh, 2,900 servers and 65 plus countries. But if you, honestly, I'd be willing to spend five dollars a month. Personally, I would like I said I'd go ahead with NordVPN, which I actually do have. But I'm just gonna continue with the free. So it's gonna create my account. Uh, now we already have it installed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head over. To here I'm just going to log in. So it says connect on boot. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uncheck that. Right. I'm just going to sign in because I don't want it to connect on boot because I do use it VPN. Um, but so I'm just going to let it load. And right over here in the dashboard, you can change your password to password mode, authenticator, and all that stuff. Um, so you can take a tour, but um, you don't need to. So yeah, so it looks like the three. Locations that we get is Japan, Netherlands, and the US. Um, so you could use any one of the US. Uh, over here, they have some here. Now, only the highlighted ones 
Uh, these are other ones you can use, but these are other ones that you can use if you do have a subscription. Like I said, I'd recommend getting NordVPN instead of this uh, if you're going to pay. But yeah, so we're going to connect to, let's say, one in the Netherlands. So connect. Um, so then I'm just going to do that in connect. It's going to wait for a useful network and just give it a moment. And when it connects, I'll get back to you. Alrighty, so it's now connected. Uh, it says it's connected to use NordVPN for some reason. I hope I did my mistake. Um, but yeah, so it's connected to the Netherlands. And now, let's say we go here, let's open up a new tab. Let's say, what is my IP? Uh, so we get this IP address right here. And then, IP location. You could see like where the person is based on their IP address. That's why IP address uh, IP grabbers are somewhat dangerous. We'll just paste it right here. I can look up. Um, so yeah, right here we get Netherlands. And yeah, see, so it does not know where we are. It gives us longitude and latitude. latitude. Um, these are not actually 100% accurate. They'll be a little off, but very little off, so. Um, so that's really about it. That's all really you need to know. Um, I will post a video uh, very soon after this video on how to access the dark web. And safely so you know you don't get hacked and you don't worry about having your data tracked um so yeah thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed my video please like and subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave them in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video